Okay, so this is your boy Mount Mike, aka the Lord of the Range, and I'm back with another video. Today I'm gonna to be doing a quick review on the 2020 Camaro SS. That's right, the 2020 Camaro SS. As y'all notice, I'm starting the video, the intro to this video inside the car. The reason I'm doing it is because it's extremely hot, but um, we got a lot of features coming to y'all, a lot of good stuff, and I will be doing the drive and showing y'all some footage of everything. So stay tuned for more. All right, so I want to show y'all some of these exterior features. I'm going to start off with this LT1 V8. It's a great sounding engine, kicking out about 455 horsepower. Um, as you see, I do got to speak over it. It's just due to the sound of it. When I get to drive it, y'all going to see some of the power that this thing is kicking out. And as you see, this motor looks great. I'm talking about this is a nice setup. Very, very, very nice setup for GM. Um, another thing that I want to show y'all on the exterior, well, I guess it's kind of sort of the interior too, is the trunk space. Um, compared to the challenges and stuff, it's not really all that much trunk space, enough enough for a couple um, carrier bags or a couple luggage bags. Nothing too tough. You can't fit 412s or anything like that in the trunk. You know, something like I would do. All right, so even though this is a 2020 um, Chevy and Camaro, they kept the same basic uh, body style for the Camaro, still modeled after the um, 69 Camaro. Um, as you see, the body on it looks extremely good. Um, it, it does need to be cleaned a little bit. Um, this is a rental. It was like that when I got it, but you know I'm still going to enjoy it. Let me go around and give y'all a quick overview. Got that thing looking real nice in the sun. I'm talking about it looking gorgeous in the sun. And check out them rims on it. Those some 20 inch rims. 20 inch wheels, alloy wheels, specific to the SS. Um, for the 2020, they made a couple changes to the backlight. Not nothing too much different. Um, it looks extremely nice, extremely nice. If you notice, you got your back facing camera up here. Um, got a, not, a lot of nice um, side sensors and all that stuff. About to head back into the car for a second to show y'all a few more of the things I like, give y'all a little test drive, and let y'all see how these different driving modes um, go on the road. And like I said, I will be back at the end of the video to show y'all some of the major things that I do and don't like about the car. As far as the outside goes, I love everything about it. Um, when we get into the inside, and I'll show y'all a little bit more detail on that in just a second. Let me close the door. When we get into the inside, there, the first two major problems that I saw were seat space and visibility. There's no back seat space. Oh, I'll show you a better picture in a second. And there's limited visibility due to those side panels. But we're going to get to that in just a second because I got some other magnificent stuff that I want y'all to see I'm first. Bottom. If you're liking um, this car, if you're liking this video, let me know something so I know what to give y'all. Uh, feedback is everything. Uh, fans are everything. And I'm here for y'all at the end of the day. Don't forget to like my other videos too. Let's see what it sounds like when this bad boy start up though. I don't know if y'all can hear that on here or not, but that V8 is sounding superb. I'm talking about this is way better than the V6 model they got. Not to down the V6 and everybody who got it, but this V8 is always sounding good. When my girl come back at her, come back out here, she, I'm gonna try to get a um try to get a little video from behind so y'all can see those horn pipes, the old school horn pipes that they got in the back and see how it's sounding on the startup. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to edit the video and I'm about to go out there and show y'all them pipes right now. I'm talking about them things sounding good. Boy. I'm talking about it's the old school pipes. Like back in the 60s, they just made them, upgraded them for the, you know, for the now. You got the dual exhaust on here. I don't know if it's X pipe or running straight back. If I had to guess, it's probably running straight back. Um, but who am I? Oh, I could be wrong. Shit, man. But it's a great car. A lot of power. I'm loving everything about this, man. Shit, man, I might have to go cop me one. When YouTube cut this check, I'm gonna cop me one. 
You better bet your bet. I'm going to cop me one. Yeah, I mean, overall, the interior, I mean, it's pretty good. I'm liking it. Okay, so one of the things I want to show y'all is this gauge cluster as well as the driving modes right here. All right, first off with this gauge cluster, you got all kind of stuff. You got your miles power. You got all that good stuff. You can shift through this menu when you're driving to show you the speed limit. It, you can put set a timer on all that good stuff. You can check the tire pressure. See if we can get it back to the regular speed. All right, we got the speed right here again. Right now, you can't see it in the daytime, but there's normally a reflection of the speed when you're driving on the dash later on tonight. I'm going to um, get up some footage of that to show y'all. You can see the gauges that I was talking about earlier. They're white. They show the speed. They show the music that you're listening to. Um, and depending on how you do your settings, they'll show the actual speed limit on the road currently. Um, this is the first car that I've seen it on. If you've seen it on any other cars, you know what I'm saying, go ahead and put that in the comment sections. If you think that's a cool feature, make sure you um, click on that like button. And for the sake of it, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell too. All right, so you can see the, uh, the dash highlights that show up on the windshield pretty well in the daytime. But at nighttime, they show up much better. You know, see the uh, white contrasting with the black background. You can see the music that you're listening to. You can make it so that it shows the, um, that it shows the speed limit on the road that you're currently on, as I said earlier. Um, yeah. Let's see what else. Let's see what else. Let's look at these modes right here. It's a couple modes on here. I'm going to start at the top, which I think is T for touring. Yeah, T for touring mode. So in the tour mode, you got, you know, regular basic speed, good for driving around the city and stuff. You save on gas. After touring, you got sport. With the sport mode, you get a little bit more from the motor. You get a little bit more acceleration and all that good stuff. Um, after sport, you kick it up one more notch to track. Um, when you're at the track, you can press this traction control button right here. And it can take the traction control on or off. You press it two times. You'll see where it says ESC uh, competitive mode. When you're in this ESC mode, um, your wheel spin and everything is different on the car. You fishtail a little bit more. It's extremely fun to drive. Um, I'm not going to test it out too much, but I will be showing y'all some footage on that. So, um, I'm in touring mode right now, and as you can hear, it still sounds good. It still got a lot of power to it. So, don't think that the touring mode is weak or anything like that. You're still probably getting 300 or so horsepower. But I'm going to crank it up all the way to track. Track and sport mode, y'all probably won't be able to tell the difference. Um, and the wheel spin and all that good stuff, but the acceleration is about the same. I'm about to hit it as soon as I get some space on this road, um, just so y'all can hear it. All right, so as you see, there's a big difference. It takes off a lot faster. Even the engine sounds a little different. I know the um, exhaust opens up a little bit more when you put it in sport and track mode. Let me see, let me check GPS, see how much further we got. I do want to hit it one good time up the road. Yeah, there we go. All right, and just off that in track mode, I mean, I know y'all couldn't feel it or hear it or anything, but I got a little bit of wheel spin off that just then. Um, in tour mode, that would happen. And if you like me, that's a lot of fun on the road. Um, other than that, you know, I'm going to let y'all have it. All right, so another cool thing I noticed in one of the modes that I forgot to mention is the snow slash ice mode. I noticed that, it, well, of course, in sport and track, that when I'm on sand, then it's kind of it's kind of hard to drive. Um, it's a lot of slide and the wheel slide a lot from all the horsepower and torque. But when I put it into snow slash ice mode as I'm doing now. I don't get as much of that. I'm trying to see if I can demonstrate it. Right now, I'm leaving out of this area. Leaving out of this area. And it got a good little bit of dirt. I want to see how this snow and ice is going to help me as I'm leaving out. The snow and ice mode.
right. And you can see that the transition onto the road was pretty smooth when I put it in snow and ice mode. I'm gonna do it one more time in touring um, just to show you how it is. Of course, I'm not gonna do it in sport mode because that's gonna be a crazy fish tail. But I'm gonna put it back in touring and I want y'all to see how it is when I come out the road. All right, right now I still got it in snow and ice. I'm about to switch it to touring now. All right, I got it on touring. And if you notice, I'm already, the wheels are already starting to spin as I'm leaving out. Still spinning as I hit the road. None of that happened when I was in snow slash ice mode. So the snow and ice mode is real good for, I guess, dirt roads and stuff like that. So uh, that's another plus about the, um, the Camaro SS. What else, what else before I get to the next thing? Um, you got a nice, you got a nice um, head unit here. I'm not gonna get into all that stuff. Um, everybody's seen a head unit before. We got the Bose speakers in here. Everything sounds good. The bass and stuff sounds good. I'm not gonna turn it up right now because I know the quality is not gonna be good through this iPhone speaker that I'm recording on. We got the nice, um, you know, just basic stuff when it comes to the AC unit and stuff. I'm really liking these uh, clusters and the way that they got them, ease of use. All right, so I was able to find very few flaws with the car. Um, one of the only things that I really didn't like is the blind spots. Um, just like with the Challengers and the uh, Chargers and stuff and, um, and the Mustangs, you still have those blind spots back here. If you look back, there's absolutely nothing that you can see for a good little section. So you gotta be, you gotta be super careful when you're driving this car, checking the mirrors and all that good stuff. Um, especially when you're in that track mode and you're enjoying yourself. As far as the interior and the size, the interior is nice. Um, the front seats, you do have a lot of space, but in the back, as you can see, there is none. If you lean your chair back, you will literally touch the seat so you can fit nobody back here. If you have somebody extremely short in the front and they lean all the way forward, you might be able to fit somebody. But other than that, there's absolutely nobody going in the back seat. But outside of that, I mean, I, I I really like it. I'm not really a big Camaro guy. I prefer Challengers myself, but this one right here making me think and feel a little bit different. So as y'all can see, the um, Camaro SS is a really nice car. The 2020 version, 2020 model, real cool. Um, make sure y'all sticking with my videos. Make sure y'all checking with me. Make sure you liking, subscribing, hitting that notification bell. Um, donate to the channel, my Lord of the Rings channel. YouTube does not pay me, so make sure you leaving me something on that Lord of the Rings channel. Everything mics, um, mounts of mic channel. Um, that YouTube will be paying me on soon, so make sure y'all tuning in. And we're gonna have a lot more stuff like this coming. Check back with us. Let me know something.